I'm not in Sydney anymore. Wagga Wagga. That's where I am, Wagga Wagga. Down here for Christmas. Uh, put a, a course into my Wahoo Element Bolt. And I'm setting off. Warning past the steep drop. That's new. In fact, everything is new because I've never ever ridden here. So I should pay attention. I'll tell you more as I get rolling. Before I get rolling, however, I'll take in some of the local uh, beauty and say magical conditions for cycling. The absolute lack of wind and not a car in sight. And for the few hundred metres that I've been on the bike, pretty hospitable environment for cycling. Another street corner, another big church. St. Michael's of Wagga Wagga. I can tell you that because I just read the sign. <laughs> As the sign says, Christmas, maybe. Um, yeah, that, that'll be tomorrow on account of today being Christmas Eve. So I think I'm at the start. This is a route that I've selected from Gears and Beers. And if it looks like I'm uh, planned, I've planned this and I know what I'm doing, that's an illusion because I have zero idea what I'm doing. I've never really, never ridden here, um, but I'm down here because this is where my wife is from. So it's time to explore. I'm quite excited actually, but okay. I think I missed my turn. I did. So stop chatting, get riding. So as I was saying, Christmas walk up. Main Street. It's quite scenic, isn't it? Look at this. All right, I've settled in. I'm on the course, it's a... Uh... 60 odd kilometer ride part of the gears and beers festival which is on in wagga in that month i've heard about it i've not been because then this wouldn't be my maiden voyage in wagga if i'd done it before so uh now i've got three kilometers on that road but i'm on this bike path because I'm showing respect to the people who create cycling infrastructure in country towns and what can I tell you I've had a week off the bike well almost six days and one of those days was spent driving from Sydney to here via Canberra yeah relatives you know holiday season blah 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 and Kookaburra just flew straight ahead of me that was whatever so Aussie And for the first time in like a month, I don't feel any humidity because it's been, holy damn, different kind of trees here. Um, it's been really quite a violent beginning to summer in Sydney. And now, holy damn, I'm going to be amazed by the trees here. 
I mean, come on, that was pretty spectacular. All right, so I'm going to be distracted, but uh, I'll try and tell the story of my ride on, uh, yeah, I should know, it's Christmas Eve. So 24th of December, 2023. It's totally different to Sydney, but there's still bloody cockatoos everywhere. Still, whatever. I think I'll soon be alone with my thoughts and the howl of the local bird life. Traffic conditions, mild. Bike rider just came past and said, G'day Chris, how are you mate? I said, I'm good. But I'm not Chris. Um, but what I'm showing you here isn't a road to nowhere, it's a bike path that's taken priority over an old road and goes past the billabong and guess what, unlike Sydney bike paths, it looks like it's got life in it yet, you know, like it's as in it's continuing. You know, in a tunnel you do this. I am coming back. I'm sold already and I'm only just a few kilometers in to my first ride in Wagga. So how good is it? Uh, just checking. Am I still going the right way? No, it's saying, don't do that, Rob. So thank goodness I've got two teenagers because I'm not, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I'm, you know, I might be reasonable at telling a story about a place that I've not seen before. So I tell myself, but, and I've got other attri positive attributes, I believe, but one thing I can tell you is that I'm dreadful at directions, reading maps, blah, blah, blah. And even, you know, like some tech that I just never really introduced myself to. So I got my eldest to uh, plug in the route from Gears and Beers onto my Wahoo Element Bolt. Currently paused, and um, so I'm following directions, and all going well. I, I won't get lost, and I'll have a good time. Early appraisal, bloody terrific! Did I mention the gears and beers, the gravel ride? Uh, so, well, it is, and I think pretty much everyone in Australia knows that. Because it's actually, it's an event that's gained quite a reputation in a few short years. And I'm coming next year already because of what I've seen in a few short kilometres. But now, onto the gravel. And uh, just before we get rolling, just so that, uh, because I don't have multi-cameras today, it's only this one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, Canyon Grail, something or other. That's my bike for the for the few days that I'm away. Okay, which is convenient because it's a gravel bike. I was going to make a little brief commentary about the how little traffic there was because I just saw Charlie running along the middle of the road there. Anyway, I've been riding next to him at 15k an hour for five or six k's and he filled me in on a whole lot of stuff, local scene, his trail running. Charlie Hamilton, look him up, super fit. He's only going to do 40k of running today. Uh, anyway, uh, that was interesting. That was a really interesting conversation. I love coming to the country. Everyone's so welcoming. Anyway, brief stint of gravel of bitumen and now back on the gravel. I did mention it's Christmas time, didn't I? So some decorations.
Ah, oh, it's so pleasurable. I mean, number one, no traffic. I, I've highlighted that, you know, that, that how much I like that over the years. But also, there's just enough variety, like a little bit of undulation, generally very flat. Um, plenty of, uh, you know, like mild stones to just consider, as in not hit. But also, I would say a very well-groomed gravel surface and, um, you know, a bit of shade even right now. And basically, the only distractions are birds or Charlie the runner, who was very, very capable of talking despite running at a pace that I couldn't hold for like 100 metres. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is a good ride. I've couldn't, I'm following directions, so I don't know how far I am in, and I don't feel like meddling with the computer. So, already, bloody love it. Oh, I really like this place. Little bit of company after a left turn and uh yeah 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 happy days i could do this for weeks I'm, and i'm sure i'll get bored as in weeks on end anyway in the sunlight hey fellas I haven't seen a car. It's so relaxing. And, you know, if you know my videos, you know I tend to uh, find something to talk about all of the time, but I don't want to get repetitive. So there's a little bit of a challenge, but apart from saying it's bloody terrific, you should do it. I'll also say, you know, like I think the benefit of this exercise is that I wouldn't have thought to come here, only that, you know, I explained earlier, this is near my, where my wife is from. And it's not a logical holiday decision to come to Wagga, but if you like riding your bike without the fuss of traffic, consider it. <laughs> May not be logical, but once you're here, you'll realise it's bloody terrific. Hey, fellas. I think I promised not to film cockatoos, but I did. Sorry about that. It's the first time I've stopped. And I'm so used to the knobby tyres and the gravel sounds that I'm shocked at how quiet it is and also how still it is. It's bloody terrific. Oh my God, if I could have ordered a day to ride a bike, boof, this is what I'd ask for. Is that a fox? I, I, I think so. Um, so there you go, they're in the country. <laughs> There it is. That's a fox. They do look evil, don't they, foxes? You know, just like a menacing aesthetic. Stay away from those crooks. Renovators delight over there. Or the fox house.
the weird thing is, we were like, hey, what's the forecast? Yeah, a bit of rain. <laughs> right now, that's looking highly unlikely, but you know, like it's Australia, things change rapid, rapidly, certainly in summer. I honestly, I didn't check the time when I left. I haven't really looked at the distance until about three minutes ago and I'm about two thirds of the way around. So I'm 40K in and traffic report. Well, it's just a little occasional car sighting. So far, three cars. Each one of them gave me a g'day. Each one of them gave me plenty of space. Each one of them actually seemed to be you know, quite hip to the groove that, you know, getting bike riders onto the gravel roads of Wagga is a good thing. In other words, they just felt, it just felt hospitable, like they slowed down. It, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. You know, there's this myth that everyone's real protective of their plotted territory in the country or whatever, or you can have that sort of dated belief but it's so welcoming, I reckon. At least the experiences that I've had this year when I go to the country. Like, it's so enjoyable. City rule, keep your wits about you, keep your wits about you, make sure you pay attention. Here, just uh, watch out for foxes. In September, you know, look out for magpies. But otherwise, here, no worries, buddy. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's days when you're like, careful of that torrential rain or the floods, but right now, oh, it's just been, so far, magical morning on the bike. So, I mentioned the car drivers, three of them, and didn't talk to them, they just sped on by. Uh, but, as I was leaving town, let's say an hour and a half ago, I bumped into one other bloke and that's him. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce you to Charlie Hamilton, trail runner, a 24-year-old who's just out for a leisurely 40k ride, a 40k run on uh, Christmas Eve. No, no, yeah, Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm filming. You yeah, I was just saying, I've only seen three cars and one other bloke and yeah. that's you. <laughs> what do you think of the gravel? Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, pretty cruisy, you know, no hassles. It's so beautiful out here. Yeah, yeah. The dirty one thirty finishes on this road here. Okay. It's, um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's okay to film? Yeah, of course. Uh, can you just give us a quick plotted history of you? Myself? Yeah. Um, I'm from Wagga. Yep. Born and bred, I live in Canberra at the moment. Yep. Um, I'm trail runner at the moment for the Hoka, but I grew up riding bikes. Okay. I still love riding bikes, especially around here. I'll film you running across the little waterway. That's the first waterway I've seen. This is, um, for you go, this is cool. Okay. But in the day, one thirty three. Whoa. <laughs> you know the good thing? I caught all of that on camera. <laughs> do you usually do that? No. Not usually at all. Wow. Well, I lucky to hold that up. That was lucky. That was, that was close. Uh, and uh, how far are we from town now? How far are we from town? Yeah. Oh, maybe like 15k. Okay. 15k. We're on the gravel for maybe another eight. Okay. Come out of the uni and then just ride into town. Yeah. Okay. And today it's a 40k leisurely loop? Yeah, I've got 36, 40k for Sunday, so Sunday's long run day. Um, we're just kind of cruising around. Usually I run a lot more in the mountains. Okay. And so it's fun to come on roads like this and just roll a little bit more. Okay. Far out. It's interesting, in, in trail running, the courses vary a lot. So I was in France this year racing in the big mountains. You know, 50k there, it took me 
six hours, but. Oh. Uh, so a marathon's kind of boring for you. <laughs> oh man, I don't like the roads. No. <laughs> Way too boring. Like, trail running is crazy. You get to see, you get to see big mountains and like, oh, you just get to spend hours and hours in there. Whereas if you're running on the road, you know, you do two hours on a road loop, but that's no fun. Okay, okay, far out. Uh, how long is the 40k going to take you today? Um, oh, maybe two and a half hours. I'm running about 350, four minute k's at the moment. Okay. So just, yeah, tapping it, nothing, nothing stressful, nothing too quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, uh, I'm going to keep on trucking because I'm getting hungry. Yeah, nice. Getting hot as well. Yeah, yeah. I'll just film your, your fancy runners. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Yeah, I'm glad I got to sort of learn a bit about you before and uh, yeah, good to do a little interview while learning about another sport. No, again. <laughs> and uh, thanks for all the work you do. Like, your magazine is probably half the reason I fell in love with cycling. <laughs> you know, looking at all the pictures of the, like, the fast bike riders and reading all about the stages. I love it. Yeah, yeah, cool. I love it. Oh, well, thanks. Have a rip of Christmas, man. Yeah, cheers, you too. Take care. I'll, see, I'll catch you around. See ya. How good's that? God damn, he almost fell over in the water, though. That would have, yeah, that freaked me out. Anyway, Charlie, Hamilton, look out for him. Hocker, great stuff. All right. God damn. When I think about running, I think about stopping. I think I've said that before, but that's inspirational what I just saw. Holy dooly. I think I'm closing in on uh, returning to Wagga Wagga. Locals call it Wagga, but you know, I think it's funny to say Wagga Wagga and call it by the formal name. Uh, sorry if it's like a boring joke for no one else but me. Uh, been a great ride. It's something that I I knew I'd like. I just, um, I just love being alone with my thoughts without the concerns of, I don't know, a lot of the trimmings of modern life. So, I've achieved what I wanted to do from this trip to the country already and it's kind of like essentially the first few daylight hours here so I feel like a winner. Got a little bit of dust in my throat but nothing that a refreshing ale won't wash away. So that's the story of my ride, 24th of December 2023, almost the end of the year, almost Christmas time, almost uh, tour down under time, almost, I don't know, whatever, who cares, right now, it's gravel riding time. And, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I've got to take a turn here. I've stopped once on this ride, and that was the one that I may have shown you, and here, here comes car number four. So, anyway, that's it. Signing off, see you later, bye. Just quickly, big thank you to uh, Gears and Beers, the organisers who I've never met and never had a discussion with um, because without the GPX file, none of that would have been possible. No, I wouldn't have even guessed my way. <laughs>